It is the eve of the largest protest in human history by Indian farmers against the Indian government's farm bills. Here is where things stand. The government has ignored protesting farmers for months now. The farmers were not consulted before the government passed sweeping changes overnight under the cover of the pandemic. This is an undemocratic process of trickery and power play. That is why the farmers are out hitting the streets. PM Modi does have a history of not going back on his bills, but this gritty movement might break his arrogance. These bills solve no structural problems with agriculture, but put farmers at the mercy of the capitalists. The bills allow stockpiling of produce, encourage price manipulation, and unchecked farm procurement by corporates. One-sided legal agreements between the corporates and the farmers will happen, and the farmers will have few legal recourses. This is a pan-national movement, not that of any one state. If the farmers' eyes and the lungers are any indication of their steely gritty determination, then the government has met its match. The conflation of this with Khalistan is malicious and shows the BJP's efforts to discredit challengers. This is a farmer-led movement the world is watching and the world understands. It's do or die for our farmers. Dignity and human rights versus state oppression and small farmer versus crony capitalism. The farmers have shown the state that they will not be silenced. Let us also change urban India's perception that farmers don't know what's good for them. The consumers in urban India must understand that this will affect them too when capitalists play artificially with prices and this will affect them at the supermarkets. When farmers don't want these bills, why shove it down their throats? Let's support Indian farmers. The moment is now.